Jiangsu, come fast. We are getting late to school. You are calling your son, who is seven years old, went to his bedroom to bring the book which he forgot to take for today's school. Oof, as I'm here, I got my book. Let's go, mom, he said, holding your hand with an innocent smile. This time, you haven't forgotten anything, right? Check with the last time before we leave. No, mom, I have everything. Let's go, else you will be late to the office too. You and Jungsu walked out of your house to go to your school. After dropping him, you go to your office in which you are working. Jiangsu asked the same question which he used to ask you daily just to give some kind of mini heart attack. Mom, when is dad coming to take us with him? You said he will come this month. On which date he is coming? I am waiting to meet him. You are just talking about something to avoid his question but he was repeatedly asking about his father again and again just to trouble you annoyingly. What could you answer to him? You couldn't say that his father is no more, so instead of hurting his small heart, you have been lying to him and the same you did today. Yeah, yeah, he is coming this month 30th. You can meet him on that day. You okay now? Hey, I'm happy mom. You know that we are, we have a parent teacher meeting. Now I can take him with me along with you to school and will show my dad to my friends. He was so happy to hear this news even after you lied him many times like this because he still has that hope someday he would meet his father but the truth is he can never meet. I'm sorry Jiangsu. You have been feeling so bad to lie him every time but what can you do when you don't have any other option? You could not break his heart just by telling him the truth. So you are waiting for the day he will grow mature enough to understand everything. Later, you dropped him at his school and you went to your office by bus which was provided by your company for their employees. Hi Yin. good morning. Good morning Mia. You greeted her putting your bag on the table then she observed your dull face. Again, Jiangsu asked about his father. She asked as understood from your dull face because you used to be smiling always even after dealing with so many problems. But when it comes to Jiangsu you feel bad because you have only him on this earth. Yeah, today also lied to him. I don't know till how many days I have to lie to him like this. You are tapping fingers on the table out of impatience. Then she said patting your shoulder gently. Don't worry, Vayan. Be strong. You will pass this phase. I hope good days will come soon. You thought about your life and problems for a while and get into work. On the day evening, you got a message from your son's principal saying that he is not studying properly even though he has good discipline and well manners. Ria, do you know any homeroom or personal tutor? I want someone to teach Jiangsu his back in studies. Mm, yeah, why? I knew one person. My sister's son was tutoring by that homeroom tutor. You know, he improved a lot after arranging a tutor. Really? How to contact him now? I will ask my sister and will send his number, okay? Okay, then I will leave. I have to pick Jiangsu. You both bid a bye and left the office. Next day evening, you are waiting for the personal tutor as he agreed to teach your son from today. Where is he? Why hasn't he come at? He told he will be here by 6, but what happened now? You are thinking about him by looking at the clock. Then you went to open the door as you heard the calling bell thinking he must have come.
You stood silent, seeing the person who was in front of you as soon as you opened the door. Then you came to reality after hearing the snapping sounds of his fingers. I'm sorry, are you Mr. Jungkook? <coughs> yes, I am. Are you the one who called me for tutoring? He asked, raising his one eyebrow while pressing his lips just like to pass a wipe. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was just... Please come in. He moved aside to give a space to him for entering inside. Then he entered and looked around the house. Um, nice house. You have good taste of the decoration. By the way, where is my student? Can I see him? Please come. He is in his room. You both came to his room and saw him painting something. Jungsu, he turned at you. Mom, who is this uncle? He looked at Jungkook. You were about to introduce him but Jungkook stopped you. Mrs. Waye, you please wait. We will have some interaction. Hello Jungsu, my name is Jungkook. From today, I will help you study well. Hi Mr. Jungkook, I'm Jungsu. Thanks for coming to help me. Please come and sit here. Mom, please bring some snacks for him. Jungkook was surprised to see the way Jungsu behaves. Mrs. Wayan, I can say you raised him very well by seeing his manners. Till now, I never saw this kind of boy at this age. Great. Thanks. Please be seated. I will bring something. You came out of the room and held your heart tightly as it was beating so fast. What's happening to me? Why am I feeling something for him? I just saw him today but why did I get this feeling? Is this love at first sight? No, no, it should not happen. You took a deep breath and exhaled it once. Later, you gave them snacks and quickly came out of the room as you don't want something to happen with you again. Meanwhile, you finished the work, then Jungkook came out of the room as he finished tutoring. Mom, he came running to you and hugged your legs. Mrs. Wayne, don't worry about him, he is studying good. I think he is missing his father, that's why he is getting distracted. By the way, where is he? <coughs> you are looking here and there as you don't know what to answer him. Then again Jungkook asked the same question but this time Jungsu answered. He is in another country Mr. Jungkook, isn't mom? Yeah, he is in another country. He, he would be coming end of this month. Yeah, at the end of this month. Thank you, Mr. Jungkook. We'll meet you tomorrow. Okay, bye, Jungsu. Bye, Mrs. Wayan. You can see Jungkook was not convinced with your answer. His facial expression was asking you, is it true? But you had looked somewhere till he leaves the house. Then you close the door, exhale a deep breath. Jungkook came straight to his room and laid on the bed and remembered your words, looking at ceiling. What is with her? Why did my heart race when I saw her for the first time? And about her husband, she stuttered, but why? She seems like hiding something. Ah, oh, man, why am I thinking about her? Because I never felt like this with any other woman. But she is married, still why am I thinking about her? He sighed and covered under the duvet to let go his thoughts. Here in Jiangsu's room, you are putting him to sleep by patting on his belly gently. Then thoughts about Jungkook passed in your brain. Why, why are you thinking about him? In these many years, never happened like this. Now what happened suddenly? You know you are married, right? Don't commit any mistake, Wyatt. You are not allowed to fall in love for this life. 
days were passing, Dali Jungkook comes to tutor Jiangsu, but you never looked at him directly. You just gave him snacks and went away from him. He tried to talk with you, but you had ignored him saying something. Like these days passed, one day before the parents' meeting, you told Jiangsu that his father was not coming. Every time he used to be so sad for that day and next day he will forget, but this time it got worse. He fainted after hearing the news. Jiangsu, please open your eyes. Jiangsu, what happened Mrs. Yen? What happened to Jiangsu? He came to your house and as it was study time of Jiangsu. Then you answered him crying. Don't know Mr. Jungkook. He suddenly fainted. He even had temperature. Please do something. It was never happened with him. Please don't panic. I will call the doctor. Then Jungkook splashed water on Jungsu's face. With that he opened his eyes. Later the doctor came and checked him. Then you heard. Daddy? Daddy? Why is he saying Dali? Mr. Jungkook, isn't he your son? With that, you and Jungkook exchange the looks. No, he's my student. I'm his personal tutor. So, oh, I'm sorry. He wants to see his dad. If that's possible, it will be better for him. Don't worry, he will be normal by tomorrow. But for his mental peace, he needs dad. Jungkook looked at you as you stood watching Jungsu with eyes full of tears. Okay, doctor, we'll take care of it. Thank you. She left after giving medicines to him. Mrs. Wayan, can you please come to the living room once? I have something to talk about. You just followed him as he asked without saying anything. I'm sorry to ask you like this, but the issue is serious now. So, can you please tell me about Jiangsu's father? Where is he living? Please call him and just say him to come. Actually, Jiangsu is not my son. I adopted him when he was 2 years old. I got married to my husband when I was 21. It was an arranged marriage. Within 10 days of our marriage, he and my parents got in an accident, but I don't know what to call lucky or unlucky I escaped. My in-laws sent me out from their home as they believe I for their sons. Then I saw Jungsu crying beside his parents who died in a road accident. Seeing him, I felt God saved me for him. So I talked with his family members and adopted him. Now tell me, whom I can show as his father? How can I say the truth to him? I don't want to break his heart. That's why I'm lying to him. You just broke down into tears, remembering the past of you and Jiangsu. Then Jungkook took you into his embrace to console you. As you were in pain, felt like having support beside you. You are tired of pretending that you are strong enough to bear all this, but no, you are just bearing everything for Jiangsu. His happiness is your happiness. It's okay, it's okay, please don't cry, we will pass this face. If you don't have any problem, I would be his father. I mean, I will introduce myself as his dad. You broke the hug out of shock and was looking at him with a blank expression. I'm sorry if I say anything wrong, I just wanted to make him normal. He is just a kid, he doesn't deserve all these punishments. For tomorrow's parents meeting, I will attend as his father, only if you are okay. You don't know what to say, but say it as for Jiangsu's health. Thank you. He gave a small smile telling you to be strong. Okay, let's go. Next day morning, Jiangsu's temperature got down, but as soon as he woke up, he asked about his dad. Mom, today is the parents' meeting. Dad coming or not, please don't lie again. Jiangsu, I'm here. It's me, your dad. He was surprised after hearing Jungkook's words who sat beside him on the bed. 
you but but you are my tutor right mom is he saying the truth is he my father as you nodded with tears a white smile appeared on his face and hugged jungkook immediately dad you are my dad i'm so happy you know how much i missed you i was scared that you won't come today i told my friends that i will show them to my dad but when mom said you are not coming i got scared that my friends will laugh at me jungkook also broke down this time hearing jungsu's words as a teacher he does know how students behave in this kind of situation he felt bad for jungsu he and jungkook shed tears after hearing his misery then jungkook wiped his tears and broke the hug I'm sorry Jungsu it was because of me I was busy to earn money for you that's why I joined as a tutor to surprise you on this day now we are happy right you me and mom are going to parents meeting okay hey I'm so happy today he kissed on Jungkook's cheeks and went to the bathroom to get fresh up thank you Mr Jungkook Can you please stop using Mr before my name? I wanted to say it many times but you didn't give me that chance. Okay, you also please call me YN. With that, you both smiled at each other. As Jungsu wished, you and Jungkook attended his school. Hi Mrs. YN, hi Mr. Jungkook. Jungsu has improved a lot in his studies because my father taught me everything. He was so excited and also happy which you never saw him being like this. Really great improvement Jungsu. Is to Jungkook after you are returning from the United States we saw a new Jungsu. He is not a sad boy anymore. He really loves you. Yeah. He smiled and looked at you. Later, the meeting was over. You three went out of the room. Then a teacher who was working in that school saw Jungkook with you while she was entering inside the principal room at that moment. Principal, who is that man with Jungsu? Ah, Jungkook, Jungsu's father. He is so happy. Please add Jungkook's name as Jungsu's father in the records, but I don't know why Mrs. Yeon said she is the only guardian to Jungsu in the beginning. But Jungkook is the fiance of Nancy, right? Later she called Nancy and told about Jungkook and Jiu. That day, Jiu, Jungkook, and Jungsu spent a lots of time. Jungsu played many games with Jungkook. You three went for malls, food stalls, movies. The day was well spent by you three. On that night, Jungkook lied to Jungsu and went to his house as his mother must be waiting for him. As soon as he entered, Nancy questioned him, "Who is Jungsu? Who is Yin? It's none of your business." He said firmly and was about to leave but his mother stopped him Jungkook how can you talk like that with Nancy she is your fiance answer who is Jungsu and why in are you the father of that boy Jungsu No I told you many times she is not my fiance I don't like getting married with her and about Jungsu I don't want to talk about it Leave this matter here. As I promised, I'm just coming here for you. Okay? He said seriously and left to his room. Yes, Jungkook and Nancy are engaged, but he doesn't like her. Because of his mom's threat, he agreed. But deep down, he is hating her for putting a boundary between him and his mother. She showed his mother money and made her agree. and his father died when he was in the middle school one fine day your boss called you to his cabin as he was observing that you are not concentrated on work 
and yeah he is your school friend too to help you in your tough situation he helped you get job of course it's not wrong what happened to you why these days you are not concentrating on work anything is bothering you actually can i ask you something is it okay if a married woman like me fell in love again now i understand i don't ask with whom you fall in love but yeah it's absolutely okay for you to fall in love why in just because you are married to someone in past doesn't mean to live your future as his wife these days divorced people are also falling in love getting married again you don't need to worry about that you don't want to waste your life like this you deserve a better life why in moreover it was an arranged marriage and you both didn't develop any feelings maybe rest of your life is destined to be with person you love not with your late husband thanks for making me realize them you took a permission and went for shopping to buy gift for jungkook to present and propose to him you got this confidence because you saw love for you in his eyes these days because of jungsu you both became so close you are walking in the mall to find perfect gift then you saw jungkook standing in front of some clothes shop jungkook is here you were about to go but then you stopped after seeing nancy who was coming to him shouting baby to jungkook baby at once you felt like your wall was collapsed you were quickly hidden beside the pillar not to be visible to him you felt bad for yourself after seeing him with her you thought of her as his girlfriend and quickly went from there but it was too late jungkook saw you already how is this jungkook he didn't even glance at her and followed you as you took taxi to your house he also followed you in his car After getting down from the car, you saw Jungkook was following you. So do not let him know you controlled tears and came inside normally. After a few seconds, he also entered inside. Vyan, Vyan. Hi Jungkook, you came early. You tried to act. I want to say that I love you. You were shocked. What? Are you kidding me? No, I'm serious and I know you do love me. even though you wanted to act like no my heart is saying that your heart is loving me please admit it why in he asked in a pleasing way with pleasing looks okay it's true i have feelings for you but i don't think i deserve you you deserve someone better who is not married who suits you better and i cannot accept you by collapsing someone's life i'm sorry you said controlling your tear drops Why in she is not my girlfriend I don't love her she just want to win me not my heart she manipulated my mother with money and made me agree for engagement listen i don't care about your past i just want to be with you in the present and future you are the first woman that i fell in love with you i just want you to be my side forever and i will be your son jungkook's pillar Jungkook I'm afraid of society what people will think if i start a new life with you i do worry that you might face any insults because of me he kept your face listen why you don't need to care about the society even if we do good they will find fault in it and about insults i know how to tackle them thank you so much i love you too You said pouting your lips with tears in eyes then he smiled at you and kissed on your forehead It's the end Guys it's a real story that happened with my relatives I just showcased with a different plot please don't judge me if you don't like it I portrayed what was